Hi, I'm Stephanie Wong, and I work for Google Cloud. While I could talk all day about cloud security, physical security at a Google data center is still pretty new to me. So today, I'm on a mission to learn all about it by taking an inside look at the systems in place that protect customer data at a typical Google data center. Let's go. Now, I've been told there are six layers of security here. Security layer one refers to the property boundaries, and that includes signage and fencing. But things really start to get interesting when it comes to layer two, also known as the secure perimeter. And that includes the main entrance gate, which I am pulling up to right now. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. So layer two has a lot of security features, ranging from smart fencing to overlapping cameras to 24 seven guard patrols and more. I'm on my way to meet some experts who are going to show me how it all works. Hi, Joe. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? So I just passed the main gate, and I saw guards and cameras, but what are some things that I didn't see? Yeah, there's actually a lot of technology and operations going on behind the scene. So from the time that you're on site, we know that you're here, and we're able to do correlation analysis of where you've been. We have guards in vehicles. We have some guards on foot. There's also the vehicle crash barrier. That's designed to stop a fully loaded truck from crashing through the front entrance. Ricky, Tariq, can you tell me more about what's unique about the fencing? This particular fence is an anti-climb fence. It's also equipped with fiber. The technology tells us if someone's near the fence or touches the fence. So we use thermal cameras and standard cameras. So we're able to see video footage at night just as clearly as we can during the day. Welcome to layer three, building access. But just so you know, I am still nowhere near the data center floor. That's a few more layers deep. Let's head inside. Stephanie? Hello. So you've gotten through the gate. Um, you've come in. You've come into our secure lobby. You have your card, and we know that that's you. But if someone happened to lose their card, what we want to make sure is that it's actually Stephanie who's shown up. Please center your eyes. And with Iris Scan, we can authenticate that it's actually you along with your ID. I think it's good. One thing that's a little hard to get used to when you visit a data center is for secure areas, only one person is allowed to batch through a door at a time. Layer four includes the Security Operations Center, or SOC a hive of activity that is monitoring the data center 24-7, 365 days a year. So it sounds like we've been keeping them very busy today. Yes, yes you have. Um, <laughs> so the doors, the cameras, the badge readers, the iris scan, everything is connected here. This, this is the brains of the security system. So if there's anything out of the ordinary happening, they have to be able to pick that up. Interesting fact about layer five, the data center floor. Less than 1% of Googlers ever get to set foot in here. So right now, I'm feeling kind of special. This is truly a as needed only access area, meaning that only the technicians and engineers that have to be there to maintain, upgrade, or repair the equipment are ever allowed there. And do Googlers or anyone have access to the data? We have access to the devices, but the data at rest is encrypted, and our customers can issue and keep their own encryption keys. And we do this because protecting the privacy and the security of our users' data is our highest priority. The mysterious layer six, where disks are erased and destroyed, and the fewest number of people are allowed to enter. Drives that need to be retired from the data center floor come into this room through a secure two-way locker system, which means that only technicians assigned to this room can pull them from that locker to either erase or destroy them. All right, welcome to the Crusher Room. Wow. So at this point, we have scanned the hard drive, and the software has told us that we need to destroy it. Can we see it in action? Back up. All right, I'll stay back here. <laughs> that is 
is definitely destroyed. Yes, it is. <laughs> If you didn't think these six layers of security were enough, Google Cloud actually has two security testing programs in place. One hires companies to try to break into data center sites from the outside, and the other tasks Googlers with trying to break security protocols from the inside. And getting out of a data center is arguably even harder than getting in, as everybody has to go through full metal detection each time they leave the data center floor. Google Cloud supports compliance with over 40 global standards, regulations, and certifications. And the commitment to constantly test, optimize, and improve systems makes it a leader in data center security. Now, how do I get out of here?